You can die a second time. Hey, Professor Ford. Then you mean ex-professor. We miss you at LU. Everybody thinks that sexual harassment thing was bogus. Oh, yeah? Any chance you can beat it? <sighs> Afraid not. Actually, there is a chance. Dean McKenzie, I understand the university's position, but what I'm asking for is in everybody's best interest. Let's put it this way. I would hate to end BE's support of your fine institution. Vicki. I'm sorry. Your assistant said I should come right in. Did I just hear you threaten someone? How could you even think that there's a chance of me getting my job back? Not that it's any of your business. You can deny I'm your mother all Excuse you want. Excuse me. Don't I know you? I'm not sure. You look familiar, but I, I don't know from where. Did you ever live in... Chuckles. What are you doing here? Unless you were fibbing to me about never drinking again. I don't drink, but as I remember, you do. So I thought I'd search all the watering holes in town until I found you. And here I am. But Vicky isn't with you. No. Why? Because I needed to see you alone. What? Did I do something? No, it's not you. But you just said that you had feelings for me. I do. But kissing you just makes them stronger. Thank God that you're here. Oh, gosh, I heard everything that happened over the phone with Brody Lovett, and he showed up at the door, and you, did, you didn't answer any of my phone calls. I know. I'm sorry. I couldn't. Well, I didn't know if they threw you in jail or not, and, and you have no idea how worried I was. Where's Danny? Brody didn't find her hair. I'm still here. Oh, gosh, Danny. Oh. So, so happy to see you. It's okay, I'm safe. Wait, but for how long? What's, what's going on? Why'd you bring me down here? I got some news and it's not good. You like Clark is alive. Put the gun down, Todd. Seriously? Do you want to risk me shooting first? Don't you think it'd be better if neither one of us fired? I don't think that we need to worry, okay? Brody didn't come here for Danny. He came to talk to Bobby about something. But, I mean, it was kind of a close call. Yeah, we thought Ford was going to spill everything. But he didn't. Do you think that he'll change his mind? No, but I mean, he's not exactly happy about our house guest. I hated seeing you so miserable at busting tables at the country club. What a coincidence. I hated you seeing me. And I know how badly you miss teaching Phil. Do you? Do you know why I got into film? Why I spent every waking hour when I was a kid watching movies? So that I could pretend I didn't have a mother who walked out without saying goodbye. If I could take that back, I would. <sighs> Whatever. Please, let me try and make it up to you. Why, by uh, getting my job back? It's a start. And you just said you missed it, so Bobby, please just let me help you get no, your job back. There are pictures of me kissing a student. You can't refute that. So how do you think you can get me my job back? Not me. Clint Buchanan. He's offered to help you. It's business, Vicky. Sometimes you gotta play a little hardball. Sorry you had to see that side of me, though. To be honest, I often forget you even have that side to you. Well, everyone who's successful does. And that includes you. 
So to what do I owe this visit? Um, to whom is actually more like it? Clan Echo de Savoy is back in town. The way I remember it, we were never better than when we were alone. Echo, I need the truth. Did you really come back to Landview just to look up an old friend? Of course. Why else would I be here? To try to make trouble for me and Vicky. Oh. So. Oh. I think we finally found ours. Yes, yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, that would be a yes. That didn't take long, did it? Mm, no, I, 20 minutes door to door. Mm. It took longer than 20 minutes. I'm just talking about the travel time. I okay. <laughs> Why don't we do this more often? Mm, what, sneak away to a hotel in the middle of the day? Yeah, it's too far to drive home. You know, I can't take the chance of getting interrupted. Mm -hmm. Not do home for at least another hour. Mm -hmm. We just can't mm -hmm. take the chance. Mm -hmm. Is that yours or mine? Mm, that's yours. How do you know? Because that one's mine. Eli Clark is alive. My Blair shot him and there was a fire. Clark and his brother Ross set it up. We've been working on it for a while, but now we have proof. Clark faked his death. Where is he now? Look, I don't want anything from you or your family. Not anymore. We just call it even. We both go our separate ways. No, I don't think so. I think you faked the will. You made it seem like Taya wanted Danny to be raised by Ross. You made me lose my daughter. I can fix that. Look, I can make sure that Ross isn't a problem anymore. Just put the gun down, and I'll fix everything. We, uh... We haven't located him yet, but we will. In the meantime, I need you to be careful. All right, I don't have to tell you how dangerous this guy is. I don't know what he'd have to gain by coming after me. He took what he wanted from me. I'm sorry about that, Marty. I always will be. Look, I'm going to send a patrol car over to your house in case Clark tries to do something stupid and come after you or Hannah. Thanks. I gotta... Hey. No, I've got to get back to Hannah. I left her alone. Kissing you makes my feelings stronger, too. Hannah, I'm sorry. That's all right. No, it's not. Look, I'm jerking you around. And I care about you a lot. But it's not fair to you, and it's not fair to Star. What are you saying? And I love Star. I always will. I'm sorry. Get out. Hannah. Get out right now. You're not the only one who had a close call. Oh, my God. God, I've been freaking out about this. I have been praying that it wasn't at your dad's, but whew, now that you found it. I didn't find it. My cousin Natalie found it. The one who's a CSI tech. You have got to be kidding me. No. She found it while she was looking for evidence for Danny's disappearance. Well, what did you tell her? I made up something. I, I don't know, but she's not stupid. She's going to figure it out sooner or later. I hate this. I hate that everybody's lying for me. Danny, we don't mind. Oh, for how long? But maybe I should, maybe I should give up. Maybe I should just go live with Ross. You know, Danny was so upset about being forced to live with Ross that she's run away. She's gone because of you. And now you're telling me not to shoot you because you can fix the will. Who else is gonna do it? Think of something. Glenn Buchanan offered to get me my job back at LU. He did. After he already pulled strings to get James's grant. The guy's a regular Santa Claus. He's a very generous man. And you're still gonna tell me that he doesn't want anything in return? 
Honestly, I also wondered if he had any ulterior motives. So I asked him. Uh huh. What do you say? He swears he wants nothing in return. <laughs> He's a parent, Bobby. He understands what it's like to worry about your children. If you say so. What matters here is that you could possibly get your job back. Isn't there any part of that that makes you happy? I appreciate what you're trying to do. And why? But you and I both know there's no such thing as a free lunch. Echo de Savoy? You've got to be kidding me. I wish. Not a peep out of her. After all these years, she just shows up? Yeah. On my doorstep, no less. Did she say what she was up to for all those years? Making the rounds of every bar in Atlantic City is what it sounded like. You know, I still consider my affair with her one of the biggest mistakes of my life. Oh, Clint, come on, I've been over that for a long time. Well, it doesn't make me feel any less sorry. Well, thank you. Thank you. Echo did an awful lot of damage when she was here. To us, and in particular to you. And frankly, I'm not in the mood to welcome that scheming tramp back into our lives. No, neither am I. But what can she do to us? We've been divorced for years. I know, and she had nothing to do with that, but still. Yeah. Well, when she shows up here to do a number on me, I will send her packing. Actually, she's not here to see you. She's here for Charlie. You know, when I heard what you did to Vicky and Clint, I couldn't help but wonder, to what do we owe this blast from the past? You can't think of a reason? Well, then I realized it didn't really matter. Because no matter what it is you are up to, I am not going to let you interfere with my marriage. Well, that's good. Good, because that's the last thing I want. I would never hurt you, Chuckles. Yeah, well, what about Vicky? Well, if I could take back that affair I had with Clint, I would. But like I said, it takes two to tango. I would never cheat on Vicky. Charlie, you have no idea how happy I am for you. You finally found a woman you can love with all your heart. Here he is, Lieutenant. Yeah, thanks. You sent a cop to pull me out of school. Yeah, you got a problem with that? Yeah, I do. I was here all last night and this morning answering questions about Danny. How many times do I have to tell you I don't know where she is? Yeah, that's what you told us. You think I'm lying? There's been a new development, and Danielle could be in danger. How? I mean, yeah, both her dads are kind of rabid, but they never hurt her. I'm not talking about Manning or Rayburn. I'm talking about Elijah Clark. He's alive. Hey, we are not going to let Ross take you away from us. But I can't have everybody sticking their necks out for hey, me. Hey, I've stuck oh. my neck out a lot further. This is nothing. Okay, but what about your brother? He hates that I'm here. And what's gonna happen when the cops figure out why his chain was at Todd's house? Yeah, what exactly did you tell your cousin? I told her that... that it was yours. <gasps> what, well, my back was against the wall and I panicked. <sighs> okay, I... I I told her that we got into a fight and you threw it at me and you didn't want anything that reminded you of me. Some lie. But you think that Natalie's gonna figure it out? Probably. That's one of the reasons why we need to move on to plan B. What's the other reason? Cole. Hannah, come on. I'm sorry, but I never meant to hurt you. You know, your mother told me that I had to get over you and that someday we might even be friends, but I don't think that's possible. Well, James told Star the same thing. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care about Star and your problems with her. I don't want to hear about it, okay? okay? I did everything for you. Okay. I almost died for you. I swallowed an entire bottle of pills Hannah. to keep you alive. I didn't survive all of that to be your go-to girl when you're pissed off at Star. All right, thanks. All right, all right, all right, I'll be right there. I'll be there as soon as I can. 
Okay, well, so much for us time. We don't really have to go back to work, though, do we? I just heard you say I'll be right there. Yeah, well, that's because my car has a siren on it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Commissioner. I'm afraid our work is never done. So this is the way it's going to be for us now, huh? Hmm. Well, we have lunch and dinner at my desk, and then we uh, go to a hotel, grab a quickie. A five-star hotel. Does it really make a difference? Oh my God, these chocolates on the pillow, I'd say so. You really think it's that bad? Well, it's not bad. It's, it's not perfect. Oh. Well, I'm afraid this is probably going to how it's going to be. Unless we take all the criminals in Landview and send them on an extended vacation. Mm -hmm. Well, not extended. Maybe a long weekend. Really? Yeah. You got a surplus in your budget I don't know about? Well, yeah, my department can borrow from the DA's office. Oh, really? They've got you. I don't know what they need with the rest of those lawyers. Oh, my God. You're so adorable. I'm going to eat you up. Uh, <sighs> so this is it? Yeah. This is it. Chocolate? Charlie? Echo knows Charlie? Uh, yes. Evidently, after she was done with you, she made her way to Atlantic City, where she met Charlie. Oh, please, don't tell me that... Oh, come on. <laughs> Echo made it perfectly clear. Chuckles and I were so much more than friends. Chuckles? Yeah, adorable, isn't it? And then she took great pleasure in pointing out that... What well, Vicky... It seems that I have slept with two of your husbands. You seem genuinely happy for me. What gives? Well, if I seem happy for you, it's because I am. Honestly, when we were together, was I ever a cheat or a sneak or a liar? Not that I know of. I learned my lesson from that fiasco with Clint Buchanan, which is why I ended up in Atlantic City. To try to put it behind me. Try to be a better person. And there you go. Yeah, I was a lush echo. Oh, maybe so. But you lifted me up out of the muck. And I somehow managed to avoid it ever since. And that's it, huh? Charlie, I just wanted to catch up with you. And if I'm able to apologize to Vicky at the same time, then all the better. What's so hard to believe about that? Echo claims she just happened to be looking Charlie up on the internet for old times' sake, when, lo and behold... She finds out that her old flame chuckles married you. Yeah. So she thought she would drop by to see how he was doing. Oh, the best part? She says she doesn't want anything from us. I get the feeling you don't believe her. Well, of course not. The woman's lips were moving. <laughs> well, <clears throat> thank you for the heads up. What are ex-wives for, huh? My dear, watch your back. Yeah, you too. And if she gives you and Charlie any trouble at all, who are you going to call first? Actually, I have you on speed dial. Yeah. Actually, no, I wasn't expecting him. But send him in anyway. Mr. Buchanan, are you trying to get my job back at LU? I am. Why? Shouldn't you be saying thank you, Mr. Buchanan? You just tell me why you're doing this for me. I'm not doing it for you. I'm doing it for your mother. You think Clark could be after Danny? What for? Nate? What are you doing here? Mom. Is Nate in trouble? I'm just asking a few questions about his girlfriend's disappearance. Okay, well, that's not really necessary, Lieutenant. I asked him about Danny as soon as I found out that she ran away, and he swore to me he has nothing to do with it. Mm. Yeah, he told us that, too. Well, are you calling my son a liar? I'm just trying to find Danielle before the bad guys do. I cannot believe you told Cole. Well, I would never keep anything like this from him. I tell Cole everything. Okay, well, how did he take it? 
Uh, he was okay that I was helping Danny hide from Ross, but... But he wasn't okay that you and I teamed up to make it happen. It's, it's great. Is he gonna go to the cops? He had the chance when my dad's house was crawling with them, and he was there when Natalie found your necklace, but he didn't say a word. So, well, I'm glad he's being so cool about it. He's actually not being cool about it. Um, he lost it when Nate asked me to call and see how you were doing. Um, he stormed out. So where do you think he went? You know, you have every right to be angry with me. And I don't ever want you to feel a second. Not to Star, not to anybody. And look, if I wasn't with Star, I'd be with you. But I am, and I, and I can't portray a Star. So if seeing me hurts you, then I can see my mom somewhere else. I'm gonna miss you, but I understand. So I guess this is goodbye. Just go. Okay. Cole, what are you doing here? It's over. Don't move! Look, I don't know where Cole went, but I, I'm, I'm sure he won't tell the police where Danny is. Well, I hope you're right. But I think it would be best for everyone if we kept you out of this and took Danny somewhere else. No, Star, I want to help. No, listen, it, I... I don't have a good feeling about this necklace. It, it, it's only a matter of time before the police link you to Danny and come looking for her. Okay, so what's plan B? I, I don't know, did you and Nate have a plan B? Uh, no, but, but, but wait, I can, I can think of something. Oh, no, I, I have an idea and it has nothing to do with you, so you'll be in the clear. And then uh, things will be okay between you and Cole again. That's impossible. How is Eli still alive? John is sure about he this. He has more than enough evidence to prove it. Oh, this can't be. Uh, Eli threatened to kill you. I swallowed a whole bottle of pills. He made me do it to shut me up. And then you saved me and I didn't die. I told John McBain everything. I told him how he hurt you and he attacked Ford. What if he comes after us? It's gonna be all right. You're gonna be fine because I won't leave you. I will not leave you alone. Neither will I, okay? Are you ready to go, Danny? I don't know. I mean, even if we do find a new hiding place, what then? How long can we really keep this up? Uh, until we fix it. And how are we supposed to do that? The judge ruled that I have to live with Ross. So what's gonna change that'll make it okay for me to come out of hiding? Oh, come on. Help me. Please. Why do you think Eli Clark is after Danny? Eli Clark? He's alive. And you don't have him in custody? No, we don't. That's why we're trying to find him. Nate? If you know where Danny is... I, I, I still don't get why he's after Danny. What can he want from her? I don't know. But look what he did to Hannah O'Connor. And your own brother. He almost killed Bobby. You don't want this guy getting his hands on Danielle. Nate. Nate. Please. Tell the detective what you know. Okay. Yeah, I, I helped her get away. So where is she? I know Ross. Okay, he loves me. He's not going to stop looking for me. Doesn't matter. How far I run, nothing is going to stop him from hunting me down. Nothing short of a miracle. Help me. Give me a good reason why I should. Damn! That's true. She would hate me forever if I let you die. I don't think she'll find out. Here up. Well, 
I should get to work. <laughs> what? Oh, that's just like you. You marry a millionaire and you still go to work. You take care, okay? Echo. I hope you understand why I was a little suspicious. It's just that Vicky is the love of my life. And I'm not going to let anything or anyone hurt her. I'm really liking this whole white knight thing. It looks good on you. Lucky for both of us, I'm not the dragon you need to slay. <gasps> hey, do you remember that ride at the end of the pier in Atlantic City? Oh. The one they had painted to look like a dragon. <laughs> Yeah, we spent the whole night on the damn thing. Oh, oh. I never had so much fun on that ride. Uh, <laughs> me too. Am I interrupting? Are you asking me what my intentions are towards your mother? From what she tells me, you don't like her very much. Well, that's really none of your business. Well, I do like her. Now, I don't know if you read the newspapers, but I've had a rough year. I could use some company, and I enjoy hers. But what do you want from her in return? I mean, you're helping my brother James stay in school, now you're trying to help me? What are you getting in all this? Your mother and I have something in common. We're parents. We both have three sons, and I know what it's like to want the best for them. And she wants what's best for you. And if I can help out, why not? I certainly have the means. You have the means to make a sexual harassment charge go away? Let me Dean McKenzie, please. Buchanan money talks. Now, if that makes you uncomfortable and you want me to back off, you know, I can do it right now. Yeah, Dean McKenzie, please. Tell her it's Clint Buchanan again. Nate? That girl's father and her family are worried sick about her. This entire police department is looking for her. She doesn't want to be found, okay? What is going on with you? You used to be a good boy. Now you're going to be lucky if Lieutenant Bing doesn't lock you up. I don't want to put anyone in jail. I just want to find Danielle and keep her safe. Okay. I'll take you to her. Okay, we are going to take this one step at a time. First, we are going to get you set up someplace else, and then we are going to prove that your mom's will was faked. How are we going to do that? I haven't figured that out yet, but however I do that, it can't be here. So. I don't know. Danny, I am your older sister. That means that you have to listen to me. And anything is better than you going away with Ross. And we both know that that's not what your mom wanted. So come on, what do you say? Let's do this for her. Okay. For my mom. Okay. All right, let's go. Wait, but where are we going to go? My dad has a boat. Oh, a, a boat? Yes, it's a yacht. It's docked at the marina, and I can get you on board. You can crash there, but we don't have that much time because I need to relieve the babysitter, and I can drop you off on the way there. All right? Come on, get your stuff. Let's go. Okay. Mom, if Eli's still out there, there's no way I'm leaving you guys here by yourself. It's gonna be okay. John said he'd post a patrol car outside the house to watch. That's, that's not good enough. Eli threatened to kill me if Hannah didn't do what he said. Look, she could have died for me. There's no way I'm leaving her alone. I really appreciate you wanting to stay here and protect us. But what about Star? Shouldn't you be getting home to her? I figured you might want this back. You know, for a smart girl, you were seriously flunking Crime 101. You told your cousin Natalie that I threw that at you after a fight. So if the cops show up and they find that here... Right. Yeah, here, let me see this. <laughs> hey, thank you for helping my sister. I only did it as an excuse to see you. Okay. I got myself. I'm ready. Remember, 
Ladies, if you ever have a sister that needs kidnapping, I'm your guy. <laughs> Thank you so much for everything, James. And that's for being such a great brother to Nate. I just want this all to end happily. For everyone. Ooh, mm, damn. Good shot, huh? Who shot you? Oh, was it Eli? Did he shoot you? Why? Danny. Listen, don't worry about Danny. I'll take care of him. Just, just not try to get any uh, blood on my suit, okay? Eli wants Danny. Echo and I were just having a little chat. Oh, about what? Well, you, as a matter of fact. Huh. So this was the errand you had to run before you went to work? Yeah. Okay. And I got all the answers I needed. And if you walk me out, I'll tell you all about it. You know something? You can tell me later. Okay? You can stick around for a little while. See you tonight. Well then, I guess I'll be going too. Not quite yet. You and I are going to get a few things straight. Should I call it off now? Or do you want to continue bussing tables at the country club? No. What do you want? I want my job at LU back. Dean McKenzie, Clint Buchanan. I was wondering if you had given any more thought to reinstating Robert Ford. Well, that is excellent news. Yes, you do that. And I'm glad that we are once again seeing eye to eye. You too. The sexual harassment charge is now history. Just like that. Just like that. But I must say, I'm very happy that both my daughters are taken. The Dean will be contacting you very soon. Thank you. Is there any word about Danielle Rayburn? Has she been found? Not yet. Hello? Inez, it's Clint. Are you free tonight? Uh, actually, I have to have dinner with Nate. It's just, I, I need to spend some time with him. Well, of course, of course. Uh, how about after? After? Yes, I have some good news that I'd like to tell you in person. Sounds wonderful. Uh, how about around eight? Okay, I'll see you then. Oh, I think I'll have just enough time to work on my opening argument. Are you kidding me, Red? You've been rehearsing it for three days. Doesn't mean I'm happy with it. What do you have planned for the afternoon? Uh, I'm gonna check in with McVeigh, check on the progress with Danielle Rayburn. Oh God. I never thought I'd say this, but I feel really badly for what Todd's going through. You know, when you think about it, we are really lucky. Even with only 20 minutes of us time? Well, it's better than nothing. And it took longer than 20 minutes. <laughs> hey. Mm -hmm. When you track me back, mm -hmm. will you turn on the siren? <laughs> you got it, baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Danny, there is Dad's yacht at the end of the pier, okay? All right, I'm gonna give you the marina pass. Here, just in case anyone stops you, and the alarm code that I wrote down. Thanks. I'm really sorry that I have to leave you with this. Are you kidding me? After everything that you've done for me? I promise, as soon as I get things straightened out with Hope's babysitter, I, I'll call you and we'll figure out a way to fix this, okay? Thank you for everything. Okay. You better go. Where's Danielle? Danny Rayburn? 
Dude, dude, I don't know. It's it's over. I had to tell him. Danny's in danger. Is she here? She was. Now she's gone. Clark wants Danny White. Rayburn. Hey. Hey, Rayburn. Dad. <sighs> There's no reason why Eli would go after Star. She has nothing to do with this. Right, but he might come after you, Hannah. Hey, I am not going anywhere until that son of a bitch is either locked up or dead. It's okay, Hope. It's okay, Hope. Mommy's coming. <laughs> 